Jim Kircher. There's a lot of talk about CAFOs, concentrated animal feed operations, and there are a lot of them in Missouri and Illinois, and the talk is often about the treatment of animals in these operations. The other big issue is the impact on the environment, because a lot of animals means a lot of manure. And this is a story about a man who wants to make the most of it. Our producer Michelle Whaley drove a long way to meet a guy who grew up in South St. Louis to see his latest project on a hog farm in Northwest Missouri. His name is Rudy Raceline. He started a very successful company building manufacturing facilities, but he's branched out into environmental work, agriculture, water quality, prairie restoration, wildlife, but with plans that include a good business model. And I had seen too many other projects going in a direction that didn't consider the environment. And he is now tackling issues related to CAFOs, concentrated animal feed operations. These are huge barns filled with cattle or hogs. They produce a lot of our meat. They also produce a lot of manure every day. All of that stuff is moved into lagoons where the waste decomposes and it can be used later for fertilizer but the process releases methane gas and odors into the air. Working with food processing giant Smithfield Foods, Raceline this summer unveiled a system designed to address the environmental issues with an operation that turns, well, pig poop into energy. Yeah, one of the first things is that as we covered these lagoons with impermeable covers, we've eliminated 98% of the odor. And this project, upon its completion, will actually eliminate 850,000 tons of CO2 equivalent methane, which is 25 times more destructive to our atmosphere than is uh, CO2. So I think those things are the obvious. Less obvious is what's going on under the covers, a process called anaerobic digestion, trapping the gases created in these manure lagoons with all these pipes and tanks turning it into a marketable fuel. And our process actually purifies that where it ends up 98% methane and it's uh, capable of being injected into the gas pipeline or you can use it to produce power in a generator or actually compress it and put it in a vehicle. This is the first of nine farms where we're actually purifying and injecting the gas into a pipeline, selling that into the California marketplace and then also potentially selling it to Duke Energy on the East Coast as a measure, a means of uh, powering their generators. When you look at this operation, they produce two million pigs. That's a waste management system the size of St. Louis. It's expensive, but for Raceline, it is smart money. Better to spend it to create clean and sustainable processes here than to try to clean up the mess later on.